<laughs> so we're about to walk into ASD. I'll give you guys a little tour of what happens here. We've got a ton of companies selling their products. A lot of relationships to be built. I can't stress it enough the importance of building relationships. We say it all the time. It's the, it's the reason why we have a successful, successful business is because of the relationship building. So this is what we do. So it's day two, about to go hit ASD. Day one was phenomenal, first day of the show. Sunday, we met a ton of companies, met a lot of possible business opportunities, shook a lot of hands, laughed a lot, made some serious business transactions, and this is what it's all about when you own a business. It's all about getting out there, putting yourself out there, getting uncomfortable, and just making power moves. You know, we didn't we didn't always sit in an office uh, back in New Jersey growing a big business because it's very hard to sit in your office and grow a big business when most businesses are about the relationships you have, relationship building, and then harvesting those relationships and taking them to the next level. Because a lot of the f the, the deals we get and the products that we get for the low are because we've been dealing with these distributors for some of them four or five years, and they know us. You know, they know Sebastian's a family man and he's got a few kids you know I'm a single dude and I don't have any kids right and they know stuff about us so it's super important to build relationships and if there's one thing I can stress from this trip it's get uncomfortable get out there put some trips on them business credit cards rack up the miles even if you're if you think you're tight for funds it's an investment in your future same way you pay for a course or you buy a consultation from us to kind of benefit your future an investment or even college right you put some money you invest i invested almost a quarter million dollars in college right i didn't know what was going to happen after that but like i just had faith that this money and this degree would get me somewhere do i use that degree absolutely not right I'm like a large population of the, the country that got paid a ridiculous amount of money for college but doesn't use it. But that's, that's, that's neither here nor there, right? It's just like having blind faith. And that's what, you know, going on these business trips is. Just blind faith that you're going to meet somebody possibly that could help take your business to the next level. And that's exactly what we're doing. So we're going to show you what that's like. Take a look. So business relationships, right? We've been building them for years. They're the foundation of our company. And you wanna get out there, you wanna get uncomfortable, right? I know if I'm not uncomfortable, then I'm not growing. How do I get uncomfortable, right? I face those fears that I have. I put myself in positions where I have fear of maybe not being life, fear of being rejected, right? All these fears, and I just work through them. What's the worst that can happen? What's the worst that can happen if I walk up to this person and shake their hand? They could deny me. It's not the end of the world, so I keep it moving. Ted, you excited for the show or what? I hope so. I'm ready to make some power moves. I think we did okay yesterday, considering. Yeah, I think we met a lot of great people. Got a lot of contacts. And we'll so do the same was, today. It was slower than I expected. Hopefully today is going to be busy. Yeah. It is day number two, so it should be busier. A lot of the people I was talking to didn't even get in till last night.
Yeah, but I'm not, it's gonna. It's not gonna have sound. It's gonna be all sped up. It's, I'm gonna document the whole journey to the. Uh, It's great. <laughs> Love your enthusiasm, Ted. <laughs> Thank you, sir. You're welcome, guys. You have a good day. You as well. Appreciate it. <coughs> so we're about to walk into ASD. I'll give you guys a little tour of what happens here. We've got a ton of companies selling their products. A lot of relationships to be built. I can't stress it enough the importance of building relationships. We say it all the time. It's the, it's the reason why we have a successful, successful business is because of the relationship building. So this is what we do. Also check it out. What we usually do is we'll start at one end, we we'll start at the left end or the right end, and we'll just walk or work our way down the aisles. Or we got Humble Ted in front of us. So we'll just work our way down the aisles. Make sure we got business cards. Make sure we got some rest. Make sure we're ready to talk. Just get uncomfortable. Just listen. I wasn't always a people person, but you put yourself out there. You start shaking hands. The conversation strikes up. And I know I love talking about Amazon. I, even even when we book a consultation, you know, say it's a two-hour consultation. Sometimes I question, like, what am I going to talk about for two hours? Well, you know, the two hours hits and I keep going another two hours because it's just a passion about selling on Amazon, I'm passionate about the business that we operate. So it's just like the conversation just kind of flows, you know? So it's really, it's really a beautiful thing. We just walk down these aisles that you see over here behind me, start meeting people, letting them know, hey, we're an Amazon seller, this is my business card. You got any MOQs? Who pays for shipping? What's your catalog look like? Does it have pictures? Is it an Excel file? Does it have UPCs? Does it have descriptions? Does it have case packs? What's the deal with pricing? Do you got any show deals? Show deals are huge. You gotta ask for show deals. We've made some great profits off of show deals. You know, so we just build relationships. You know, you get to know the people. So when you call them to place that first order, you're no longer just an email address. You're no longer just the guy on the other end of the phone. You're a person, right? Because they see you. They know who you are. They know your face. They've shaken your hand. You've maybe talked about your family. You maybe asked them about theirs. It's more about the human interaction in this business and pretty much all businesses. So I'm about to flip this camera around so you guys can see a little bit of the companies that are here. This is downstairs in the South Hall. Um, it's a lot of like vape juice, CBD oil down here, convenience stores. We don't really shop down here. We're about to go upstairs by our booth to the wholesale and closeout section. But this is what downstairs looks like. Sellers and closeout companies are. We got Smart Cook. Micro World. Jacob's truckloads. The list goes on. Right? All these companies selling products. It's crazy because e-commerce makes up less than 20% 
of the total market in the United States. So that means 80% of sales are done through brick and mortars. It's just mind blowing. It's mind blowing. Over here we got Avid Wholesale Group. Got all our products. All these are available to pretty much anybody who wants them. We don't have any restrictions. The invoices we submit are exactly what Amazon requires for um, ungating and approval to sell products. So, because we get it, right? We're an Amazon seller ourselves, so we understand the process. And then also we sell a ton of brick and mortars, a lot of bodegas, convenience stores, some flea market guys. We just keep it moving, you know? We don't restrict our growth. Why restrict our growth? Be like, I'm only gonna to sell to e-commerce guys. I'm only gonna to sell to brick and mortars. I'll sell to anybody. Anybody I can make a couple pennies on, I'm open to it, right? Submit them an invoice, ship them the products. Submit them an invoice, ship them the products. Submit them an invoice, ship them the products. And that's how we get it done. Stay late, everybody.